This is the game called Border Insecurity, where we weed out the riffraff and keep only the finest new Australians. <laughs> Taking the challenge tonight in Australia for the release of Jackass 3 in 3D on DVD, our special guest, Chris Party Boy Pontius. Please make him welcome. <laughs> So much love for the American people. Uh, yeah. Are you scared of me? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> you, didn't tell me, you didn't tell me you were creepy. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to tell us some secrets about uh, Jackass 3? It is great fun, and it's probably the best Jackass that we ever made, mm. if you like that kind of probably. stuff. Probably. Out of the... Yeah. yeah, probably. No, no, it is. And you're famous because you do a lot of nude work. Hey! hey. The, the nude work is required on my contract. All right. Yeah it, said, yeah, it was really funny reading it, actually. It said, you will be required to do full frontal male nude scenes. Mm. Yeah. So, of course, yeah, I signed it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris, if it had said you will be required to do full frontal female nudity scenes, would you still have signed it? Yeah, uh, sure, why not? Yeah. I just love the idea, take something away from the anarchy of jackass to realise there's contracts involved. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did, oh, yeah, you, did you do a lot of nude work before you did Jackass? Oh, yeah. That's oh, all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a bit of Shakespeare, we'll... cock out. Ne never, never anything that classic or whatever. But first, my first thing in the magazine was I got interviewed for being a skater, and I was nude in that, swinging it around. Yeah. Doing the helicopter is what Woo! it's called. I, I, I keep forgetting I'm in Australian TV and I can say whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, what do you want to say? <laughs> I'm probably what I'm saying. Okay. So we... <laughs> Chris Pontius. Yeah. For those unfamiliar, which I don't think anyone is, with the work of Jackass, let's show a bit of Chris's work. Oh, yeah. The rest of the boys. This isn't the best idea ever. <laughs> You're taking it to a whole other level. <laughs> yeah. I like your attitude. Uh, Chris is going to try his luck on border insecurity. If he gets a question wrong, the other players are standing by to encourage him to do better. <laughs> so, Chris Pontius, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> what is a wabigon? A delicious type of flake? A town just outside Kudamundra? <laughs> or a large metal instrument for attracting wobbies? <laughs> Come on! Is it a town outside of wherever? Answer B. <laughs> Let's have a look. No, unfortunately, it is a delicious type of uh, a This is fixed. Not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to step out. They're going to help you. No, no, no. <laughs> not the head. Stop it. <laughs> Why is Simpsons Donkey famous? It could bray waltzing Matilda. It saved a lot of diggers from Johnny Turk, or it invented Vegemite. Um, Come on. It invented Vegemite. Let's have a look, see if Chris is right. Come on, take your beating. I can't do it. It's too... <laughs> you, you've got to shape up, lady. <laughs> Why do people keep going for his head? Is there a reason? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul, it slipped. You know, if I could throw a ball that far, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> if you've got a gob full of 4X, are you about to have a squiz at some Bonza porno? <laughs> Sculling a slab from the bottle oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or hooning in a ute full of boombas. <laughs> hooning the boombas. Let's have a look and see if he's right. Oh. Oh, again! Again! Oh, oh. no! Ow! Ow! Ow. Oh. Okay, stop now. The man's a human being for 
got almost. <laughs> uh, shall we make this a bit more tricky? You know, she'd be a good lover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, just, think, just, I think we finally found a mentor for Brendan Favola. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, no, touch me again, I like it. <laughs> it's, it's like the top of a gay wedding cake. Everyone's like, oh, it's so nice he married his parole officer. <laughs> Where should you keep your map of Tassie? In your glove box? In your meat safe? Or in your Reg Grundies? I know what a map of Tassie is. Oh, <laughs> God, oh, really? What but is I it? don't understand that. Was well, the way you guys speak. <laughs> I'm um, in the red grungies. Red grungies? Oh. Yeah. Let's have a look and see if he's right. Sadly, he's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Pondius, please thank him. Thank you. Jackass 3D out there on DVD. Oh. Uh, this is giving headline teams. Tell me some stories. Okay. Thief flush with cash. Oh, it's a plane what's story. It's a plane what? story. This guy well, got on a plane, said he was sick, went to the bathroom. Once he got in the bathroom, he got, got out some, some tools, took out the back wall behind the toilet, got into the hold, and stole about 200 grand's worth of cash, which he then hit on his body, put the toilet wall back in, and got off the plane. And he got off the plane and still, still claiming to be ill and got in an ambulance to get past security. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what we learn from that is if anyone ever asks for an ambulance, they're probably a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever trust someone claiming to be sick. The most impressive thing was that Rafe Fiennes was having sex in the toilet the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest score in an airline toilet since Rafe Fiennes. <laughs> uh, Mikey does have it, ladies and gentlemen, with a bit of help from everyone. <laughs> Beds keep on shaking. Lucky you. Uh, oh, 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 Christchurch? Is this just a Christchurch? Yes, thank you. Brothels in Christchurch are going gangbusters. <laughs> Did you want to finish? I was listening to you, Claire, and I think it was rude that he just... Uh... Isn't that all it is, that Christchurch, that... Because you know, my uncle was there and, um... Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'd keep him out of this story. <laughs> oh, well, so if it's a brothel story, my uncle wasn't there. OK. <laughs> I've got a T-shirt that says that. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle went to a brothel and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> I thought it was just a headline about the aftershocks, cos... No, they you're wrong. Good, Stop right? now. It's it's a, Mikey, back to you. You have the balls in your cot once again, my friend. One of the few industries up on its feet, well, actually not literally up on its feet, <laughs> is sex workers. And because there's been a massive influx of, of construction workers <laughs> and... and uh, <laughs> Oh, massive, massive influx. influx. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Paul. There's, there's been a great there's... big fat influx. Yeah. <laughs> and there's been a lot of blokes coming, coming into town and, and the brothels are, are... They're just full of influxes. They're full of influxes. <laughs> influxes everywhere. Paul? But, but Claire's uncle is not one of them. But, Paul, if I say my uncle did go to the brothels, do I get the points? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get a Christmas card. <laughs> This could, become a, uh, this could become a new phrase, I, I think. think. Well, a... Where were you last night? Just went to see Claire's uncle. <laughs> it's a disappointing story, though, isn't it? Why? Like people going over to do good and then letting themselves down. Yeah, because it's about it's relief workers run. that are getting... Um... Yeah, well, they're getting... <laughs> not, not even a joke. Not it. Well... A player sees red after streaky tackle. Um, the soccer player that tackled a streaker um, over in England. Yeah, dismissive. In England. Yes. And he got sent off with country. a red card, which I think is Yeah, the streaker ran off. Hilarious. On and uh, the stewards couldn't get none of the staff could get him, so the streaker was just running around with and his cock. The captain cock got him. The captain jumped on him. Mm. But he wasn't a proper streaker. He was wearing a a, a, a so called mankini. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. See, in the good old days you went on tackle out. But it is <laughs> England is a lot colder, to be honest. Yes. If you're if you're gonna be a sort of career streaker in England, you have to have quite a lot of kit. <laughs> yeah, it's, they, they wear almost as much uniform as the players do. <laughs> yeah. Did we have a bit of footage of the of the streaker? There he is. There's man on. See, no one can get him, and in a minute <laughs> you're going to see. Look at that. <laughs> and, it, and the referee sends oh, him that's off. That's not streaking. 
He was unlucky that he found the one soccer player who has balls. <laughs> Do you ever have a, you ever had a streaker at a, at a big basketball game? Let me think, no. <laughs> would you like one? Yes, I would. I think it'd make it much more fun, personally. The is the court's not that big, is it? A football pitch is massive. On no, the basketball court... we just stand court, there and you... start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. You sometimes see streakers. We had a streaker at World Snooker Championships in England, and that really is, that is a hard sport to streak because basically you're in a tiny room, and most of the room is taken up by a snooker table. So you can see the guy get out two seconds, and then he thought, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that because one of the guys went left ball, corner pocket, right ball. <laughs> and lastly, booty booted from Bible. Oh yeah, um, yeah. There, there's um, obviously they've uh, rewritten the Bible because. God didn't get it right the first time. <laughs> and it turns out that when they say booty, and what they mean by booty in the Bible is like, you know, uh, uh, wealth and, and uh, mm. accumulated possessions and stuff like that. But kids, because booty has a different meaning, are giggling in Bible class, uh, particularly when Jesus is described as bootylicious. <laughs> I think Jesus rose in three days for a booty call. Yeah. So... They're changing the word to spoils now, I think. Spoils. Yeah. That's right, they've got it. You know that holy text we're supposed to live our lives by? It turns out, all this time, it's been wrong. Catholic bishops in the US have authorised a new translation of the Bible that doesn't include the word booty. Great, now the Catholics are fiddling with the books too. <laughs> the new American Bible will use the term spoils of war, as Lauren said, instead of booty to avoid laughter at Sunday school. But don't worry, the cast of the Old Testament will still begat each other's brains out. <laughs> The church says the new Bible will be more poetic and more accurate. So I guess it now starts with, in the beginning, we made this shit up. <laughs> the word virgin is also being replaced with young woman and the Holy Spirit that gets her pregnant is vodka. The new, <laughs> the new translation is remarkably different. God now makes the world in seven tweets and they're replacing blessed of the meek with gay marriage burns my eyes. <laughs> uh, to my right now, 93 points to my left, 100 points. After the break, hot spot.